Hello everybody, Shiftry again with another modded inscription at one run. And today I will be playing uh, half vanilla, but the other half is Void Life and Currency Card Pack by Void Slime. And what this this uh, this card pack is, it's about 3D cards that actually use your money for uh, the cards to play. And if you don't have money, you lose life to play them, so it's even worse. And here we got the new, the new cards. In general, these cards should be pretty much free damage and free units for us, as long as we have money. Right now we have five, so I can play this one and a half time, I guess. Uh, and the rest, not really that much. This needs seven. And as you see, it is really important that we have Vanilla Ultra Active. Although at this point, Vanilla gave us really trash cards. Opossum, Adder, and Great White. I love it. And then we got, let's begin, Caladrius. Four cost, one, two. That is Flyer and Deceased absorption when played a card bearing with sigil will take all negative sigils onto itself negative sigils i guess things like dying right Card bearing with sigil will lose one health each time it declares attack i mean depending on the deck this might be good let's see what else we got alarm prey seven cost one two uh moves around spawner and leaves something behind okay and uh, is also underwater so it won't die i guess it's a free this is an insanely powerful unit i would guess depending on what it spawns but it costs you seven to play so it will quickly be dangerous too and also extremely expensive wasting wasting deer four cost one four that loses one life every time it attacks i mean this is extremely bad in my mind could have been a two four at least that's a one four i mean I don't know, it seems really bad to me. 3 cost 1, 2, that attacks randomly. Karma of the Sigil will strike an opponent's slot randomly. Oh, this is also, I would say, bad. 3 cost for a um, 1, 2, that attacks wherever. Can't even control it. Mm. You could hide it behind a tree, but still. Adder. Engorging Mosquito. 3 cost 1, 2, with what? I would say this is negative, randomly. Blood Growth. When a Karma of the Sigil attacks, the amount of blood it is counted as, when sacrificed, will increase. Oh, this is good. This is a this is a sacrifice outlet. Oh, well, this is good. We got one good one. <laughs> I guess a Goji Mosquito combos with Great White. Bring the Sigil attacks. It's, it's straight up an attack. So first turn, I guess from one it goes to two, right? And then so to the second turn from two it goes to three, and you can just play the Great White, or you just play this turn one, and then turn two you just draw aside the card and play the Great White, and instantly have a forty-two on your board. I could go this way. Like in general, cost cards are definitely gonna combo with high and high high blood cost cards because uh, you can play like these three it will cost you obviously like a bunch it will cost you 10 coins but still you would get a 4-3 and a 4-2 and just win the fight at that point and you might even recoup some of the money still i think i'm gonna go for the lamprey this seems really powerful depending on what it leaves behind obviously but still it should be good uh, i don't like the fact that it's a one two but i could flame this if if need be it's a bit expensive, but uh, I don't know. I like it. I like the Mosquito too. Apostle maybe. Nah. I don't know. We, we don't really have good cards here. Maybe Galadrius is good because disease or abortion taking like some things away. I don't like the Wasted Deer. And this is... Uh, I'm a bit all over the place, but I don't really like the cards we got. Let's go with Engorsing Mosquito. Mosquito. Let's go with Opossum as this is a, a playable card, honestly. Uh, Adder is also playable. <laughs> I want to take the Lamprey and test it. Although it might not be a good idea to play and get that this early. And then Great White, maybe to get some damage through as a 4-2. I'm not sure about this, but YOLO. And I guess a possum because it's easily playable. Oh man, oh man. I'm already not really stoked about the deck we have. And this model also has its own side deck. A crow tamed to find gold. Drained. At the end of the owner's turn, a car the sigil will grant the owner one foil. Uh foil? Another turn, the carbon and the sigil will grant the only one. I don't know what foil is, but YOLO, we're gonna take it. I, I will assume that foil is money, because I was mixing up teeths with damaged teeths or non-damaged teeths. Still could have just said money teeth or just money. Uh, it's a flyer for no reason whatsoever. Flyer does not add anything to that thing. I would say we play this on the left and uh, take a bunch of damage, right? I could play the Lamprey. How much money do I have? I have five. I could play the Lamprey right away to also see what it does. Although, if I do that, we're gonna lose two life, and then we're gonna take another three, and we're instantly gonna die. I would say we play Tamed Wolf here, Crow here, and also play the Lamprey. So, should I do that this early? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Let's just go here. Pass. 
Uh, there is power in the blood. Yep, now it's a two blood. A tooth for your thought? Okay, from the crow that was. That was from the crow. Uh, I made a mistake. Engorging mosquitoes is gonna die for no reason here. I can't actually play the great... You know what? We're gonna just... Just use this. I didn't really play this that well, but whatever. I take a hit. Nice. Now we're gonna be able to do four damage. So I'm, I'm trying to set up some money gain here. I like it. I like it. I like it that we need to play with money. And we got a coin from the team crow. Very nice. We're gonna get another coin while at the same time also trying to do as much over damage as possible. Tuck, 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 tuck. Money and the crows. Will the crows also give us money? Uh, I guess the um, our turn never passed, so we didn't. But now we're at seven coins. I like it, I like it. Uh, a constant currency going from fight to fight. A flea that spreads disease to canines. Three cost, one one that does draw blood. A card bearing the sigil is played. A card costing blood is created in your hand. I mean, fair enough. And agile. When the card bearing the sigil would be struck, it will move out of the way. Yeah, move out of the way will mean it goes to the left or to the right. I, I, I like that. I think they changed it, right? This, I think this was... Uh, the explanation was something else, and now it's just it will move out of the way. Um, I think the only thing missing is like to the right or to the left or something like that. Uh, you know, j just to showcase that it's completely understood. But I mean, this is already understood. I like it. It feels some blood packing endlessly. You know, just uh, indicating what the way goes. You know, first right, then left or something, you know. Um, yeah, first of all, six cost, one, two. That a card in the sigil deals damage. It gains one health for each damage dealt. So it... it it's a 1-2 that becomes a 1-3, then a 1-4, then a 1-5. Uh, I think Blood Flea is a better idea. It's it's a 1-1 one, one that keeps itself alive, and it can also give you, like, draw blood. So it gives you a card that you can then play. I think I like the Flea. I think I like the Flea. I could otherwise reroll, see what we find. Uh, let's take the Flea. Seems like a decent card. Might be wrong, obviously. Uh, let's go Flame. Do I have, like, some kind of... I don't know. By the way, I don't know if this has some kid interaction with the canines, it said. Uh, I am already insects, so theoretically I could go here, but now nah, let's go flame. Let's start creating some good cards in the deck. Health, not really that good. I would say we go with the mosquito. On health, so that it starts stacking up. And then at some point we play the great white. I'm not sure if the great white's gonna stay on the deck forever, but... Uh... By the way, I can also transfer the mosquito over to the opossum. Although this will delay itself a bit. Yeah, let's go with Mosquito over here. Should I roll this another time? I think as a 1-4 it's already enough. I think a 1-4 is already enough. I don't th see this thing dying in a timely manner. So, like, two damage units will kill it, but uh, I can protect it, I think. We're gonna see. Maybe I should make it a 1-6. I don't know. Uh, wolf Cub's coming in. I mean, Wolf Cub definitely cannot kill this thing. Very nice. Let's also play the Tamed Crawl there for money. And uh, we pass. Now we get one coin from the Crow. Alpha's coming in. The Crow will die, but the, the Mosquito will survive. Uh, let's go with... Let's try to draw the... Yeah, nice. I knew that we're not going to draw right away the, the thing that I needed. At the good old Great White. So now is a good idea. Nice. The plan still goes forward. I like it. Pass. Boom. Nice, we take a hit, who cares? Are we gonna gain money? Yep, it's about to end here, so we're gonna try our best. As far as I know, the the, the crow is not gonna give us anything, but still, let's gain the one coin that the possum's gonna give us. It is what it is. I think we got a coin. I, I think at the end I got a coin from the crow. No, it, it has it had to be the opossum. Let's go this path, let's see what's gonna appear in front of us. Fungal ant. The fungus will spread to its fellow ants. We cost Ant 1 and Possessor. When the card bearing the sigil perishes, it will grant the random friendly card its base power and health. Oh, this is really good. A card bearing the sigil... So this gives plus 1, plus 1 to a random ally, pretty much, which is already good. A card bearing the sigil will cause ants to become fungal ants during the end phase. This is awesome for an ant. Wow, this is an insane card. Like, I love this card. This is an insane... I, I love this card in general, like... Uh, regardless of the cost like these two 
I really love it. So all of your ants become this thing and they all get this thing. So whenever one dies, it transfers the stats to the other one and it all bounces around. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it as an idea. This is an insane idea in my mind. Would be awesome if I could. You know what? I think I want to take this. I want to straight up take that just for the whole like already it's a three cost one one that gives plus one plus one when it dies. So that on its own is already decent for a three cost in my mind and if we transition into an ant deck then so be it although i already missed an ant obviously uh let's go sacrifice at the end of the day i can sacrifice this whole thing to something else because this says that it will grant a random friendly card its base power and health so if i transfer this for example over to the engorger we have to test if perish means also sacrifice because if it also means sacrifice i can transfer this over to this so it's going to become insane we're going to go this this path damage nice uh, I could go for the Engorging Mosquito, but I think I want to give uh, to the Lamprey the damage. This is going to be my carry card, I would say. Uh, I'm okay with Yoling this, although we haven't seen what it does. Nice. I believe in my luck. I believe in my luck. You know, if, if, you, if you are supposed to believe in your luck, then you should also, you know, push. Push for more luck. Let's see. Mall and prog coin. Shouldn't be that hard. How much money? We have seven. I could play the lamprey to see exactly what it does. Mm, I think this is a good chance to actually get that out. Although we're going to lose a bunch of money here. It's okay. We need to test this at some point. And this will also start giving us money back anyway. As I would say. Let's see what this leaves behind. Itself. Okay. I was expecting as much. Okay, I'm not uh, I'm not really eager about this thing anymore. <laughs> I don't think it's that good in my opinion. Like although it's obviously infinite units, uh, them being one two underwaters makes them uh, really bad. Like especially worse than I thought they would be. Obviously, uh, let's continue here. Gorging mosquito. Uh, I would like to protect my lamprey, the good one. So I'm gonna hammer slammer the non good one. I'm gonna play the mosquito no, i'm not gonna play anything this will kill this and move away of the porcupine that's the whole idea and we will continue gaining money here i can obviously always abuse the fact of what is happening here let's go with a non-real card pass we do three damage i didn't see if we had lethal okay we didn't get lethal that's very nice for me get two coins out of this Okay, and at this point we do have lethal, so I'm gonna go the um, the money way, which is we hammer slammer this. Play the cro Why did I hammer slammer that instead of straight up sacrificing? Nobody knows. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get a few coins out of this. I'm obviously not gonna play anything that costs coins. I know the lamprey was not able to do lethal there. Wait a minute, I didn't even have a lethal. I'm stupid. I could have bought more turns for myself. I didn't play this perfectly, but we have nine coins, so we're back to where we were, if not more. We're gonna go coin cost, obviously, as this is the mod. We got a fungal ant, yes, now we have two of those. Okay, we're going full on ant team, let's go. And this is also, yeah, we can also get an insect head. I didn't like the lamprey, although now I obviously buffed it, so it's not a good idea to transfer these to something, but I really didn't like it. Uh, I could go for the blood flea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go the blood flea onto the mosquito. Making the mosquito, first of all, avoid hits so that it continues growing. And secondly, making it create a card in hand. So in case I don't have the the thing in the hand. Wait, yeah, in, in case I don't have the great white in hand, it will um, create something that at least can get sacrificed. And no matter if it's a one cost, a two cost, or a three cost, I can just sacrifice the mosquito depending on the situation. Let's go against the boss. Hammer slammer. We're gonna open up with the double greater smoke as always. I don't know why I said hammer slammer. I guess because he... At the pickaxe. He's afraid, man. <laughs> Let's go with uh, the normal plays, right? We'll go with one and a two and a three, I would say, to gain money. In general, I don't see this fight being hard or anything, so I'm just gonna slow play this as we always do. Up, rear smoke. We just continue our day here. We got a coin out of the tamed crow. I love the tamed crow. This thing, the tamed crow, giving us one coin each turn is. First of all, it's extremely smart. And secondly, I really love uh, this this whole idea of gaining money slowly. Uh, I would say we go Fungal Ant. It took three coins from us, but I mean, that is what it is. 
Continue creating some coins with the tame crow. Uh, yeah, let's continue drawing cards. We're slow playing this a bit. Continue gaining. This is trying to make all my ants into fungal ants, by the way. That's what's happening there. This will die. I hope it's gonna buff the tame crow. Oh, actually, it's not gonna die because the mole's gonna block there. I'm starting to get a bit afraid. Or, um. I'm starting to get a bit afraid that we might actually die because of a starvation. I think it's a good chance to test if this, uh, if the fungal, gr the fungal thing actually gives us what we need. So, uh, the stats. If it actually transfers the stats, that's what I meant. Let's go here. Passes its strength to what? Oh, it did actually pass the strength, but it didn't pass the strength to the Great White. I see. And we're gonna play the Opossum over here. So now this will die and we will do for damage. I was gonna hammer slammer us, obviously. But once again, the main problem in this whole fight was uh, not gaining enough momentum because we might lose because of starvation, man. Starvation is always a danger. Starvation is always a danger. Uh, let's go with Lamprey here to do three damage per turn and we should be winning in two turns. Should have also hammer slammered the gold nuggets but just to get money out of this. Uh, let's hammer slammer these, honestly speaking. We're winning with the Lamprey anyway, so I just want to see if I will gain more money. You know, this is the best chance to test this. I have four right now. The Lamprey should give us one, okay? Because two damage is gonna go to the damage, and then we should either have five or eight. There are no other choices. Is it gonna be five? I'm pretty sure it's five, okay? I'm 99% sure it's gonna be five. But maybe, just maybe, somehow the crows maybe work the moment everything goes down. Nope, we still have five. Okay, good to know. Uroboros, Gek, and Mad's God. Well, we didn't draw the rare cards of the mod. I mean, it is what it is. Can't really do anything about it. I think I'm gonna take Mantis God. Because this, at least, I can transfer to something. Um, otherwise, I can go with Gek and put what on it, though? Do we even have anything that the Gek would need? Oh, let's just get the Mad's God. At least we can transfer the mascot on something. Also, I just realized maybe I should have gotten Roboros. Yeah, I should have gotten Roboros to transfer it onto an engorging mosquito. Because this thing. No, I cannot do that. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, Man's God, it is. I could transfer the Roboros on the fungal ant. Yeah, I could have done a bunch of things. But then taking. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters. Here we're trying to lose, obviously. Uh, actually, let's try to win. Why not? Let's start having the deck be a billion cards. We almost lost by the... I mean, we were running already. What is this? Life Converter. Activate. Pay one life to gain two foils. Foils money. Oh, this is... This is extremely good. Like, pay one life to gain two money. I can delay the fights as much as I want until I get, like, a bunch of money. This is really, really good. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. It's extremely good. Uh, let's go. By the way, in case you didn't know, you can gain these coins here for free every time you beat the boss. So we're gonna do that for one time in my life. We're gonna go with throw something out of the deck. And here we're gonna go with ants in case we draw an ant. Damage. Very nice. We always like damage over here. Uh, honestly, Mantis God. <laughs> I'm gonna roll it twice so that it gives us money. Okay, you're out. I don't care. You, you had a purpose. Your purpose was to give us money. Now that you die, now I mean, if it was a 2-1, it would just give us one coin on win. I wanted it to be 3-1, so the moment I played it, it instantly gave us uh, four coins. But, um, you know, it's out. Here we can create infinite money. Now, now is our chance. Now is our chance to actually gain money. Let's go Tamed Crow. Us. Yes. Gain a coin, we get a hit. Okay, adder is really bad for us, obviously. Let's go here. Engorging Mosquito. Cannot really deal with the adder. Can deal with the bullfrog, though. Slowly, but it can deal with it. It gave us a squir squirrel ball? What? What's a squirrel ball? This is new. Squirrel Chatter. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a squirrel in their older space. Okay, which mod did add this? Like, this is not the normal card, and... It's definitely not, I, I mean, this mod only has coins as far as I know, so the squirrel ball is completely out of place. 
Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter though. Let's go with pass. Yep, we will take some hits here. Ingenious mosquito. Gotta love that, man. <laughs> Uh, if we take 2 damage, we die here, so I will need to do some damage. Let's go with non-real card. Sacrifice this and this. Play the wolf here. I need a non-real card uh, to block that thing. So we go with great white. Okay. This will backline kill the rattler too. And then we go... This is at the end of the turn. This moves around. So we're going to go with tamed crow. And we're also going to go with Squirrel Ball here. Which is going to move and block both of these. I know we're going to lose this for no reason. But uh, right now I just need to buy time. I don't really need to do anything else. Um, yeah, I think we pass here. The whole line here is dead and these are not going to do anything. Adder. The Adder is not going to kill my Great White, obviously. We're pretty safe at this point. Uh, let's play the Opossum. To start getting rid of opponents. Stop playing things, please. I guess not. Uh, let's uh, let's continue gaining one coin per turn. At the same time, we could also play the fungal. Yep. I'm still trying to maintain my money at a high. Okay, no unit has been played. Now here we need to balance some things. First of all, we do click. How many times can I do this? Oh ho 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 ho! Farm, farm, farm! Do 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 do. I'm gonna pass here in case something goes wrong. Oh, this is over, man. We're winning. Are you winning, son? Oh, yes, I am. Let's go here. I would say fungal ant. So we have eight damage on the board right now with the second fungal ant. Okay, here we're gonna go with start damaging ourselves a bit. Oh, this this is the farm fight. This is the farm where this is the fight where you decide to farm everything up. Yeah, one more. Okay. Pass. We do six already. So... Do, 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 do. Yep. We gain coins. This dies. What got buffed? This got buffed. The fungal land got buffed. So that thing adds plus zero, plus one. Because it says um, base power. And it doesn't count, obviously, the, the ant power. So it only transfers to life. Not really that good. But also not really that important. I can play the Lamprey, but 4 plus 1 is 5, and 3 is 8. This is actually the most efficient way of playing this, so we're gonna play the Lamprey. Okay, we're gonna continue getting money here. Money. 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 And money. I will decide a, a random number here that uh, is most likely going to be the point where I'm gonna stop doing this. How much do we have right now? If we have like... If we get, for example, 50 coins, I think we should be okay. 24. Oh, we're pretty far away from 50. This will take a while. Ding, ding. So as I said, we're doing 8 damage and Leshy can take up to 9. So this is by far the most efficient way of doing this. Like every turn we gain um, 8 times 2, 16 coins. Yep, he's not gonna play anything. Uh, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna obviously not pass. At the end I'm gonna pass and gain like plus 8 coins again. I guess not plus 8, plus 9 or something. I know it's a bit slow. Oh, the spider's here. Oh. This is the most broken thing we could have gotten, by the way. I, I told you the moment we saw it. I don't know how it happens with my luck and stuff, but I always get the most broken stuff in my runs. Whoop. <laughs> Just so happens, you know. As long as you believe in your luck. Everything flips up. We're at 52. You know what? I'm going to do it one last time. I said I'm okay at 50. Uh, honestly speaking, the Lamprey is 7. I, I, the only thing I'm calculating here is I need to be able to play the Lamprey as many times as there are fights coming up, right? Uh, because Lamprey is the most expensive card in the deck. Uh, so let's assume that 10 fights are coming up next. We need at least 70 coins, right? And if we then also add the Fungal Ants into that, we will need about 100 coins if we are about to do 10 fights, right? I don't think we're going to do 10 fights, by the way. 
I think we have 69. <laughs> nice. Uh, wait, I was at 50 something. Mm, I'm gonna do this one last time. You know what? The scales, what's happening with the scales? Leshy, are you like using some kind of magnets or uh, I, I see my money starts flowing through? Okay, th this is, I, 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 I promise this is the last fight. Last time I'm doing this. <laughs> Leshy's looking at the ground. Okay, I think we have enough at this point. Yeah, we have enough. We're pretty rich here. We do need to break this further. Yeah, we have 86. I don't think we will need more money. And at the end of the day, if we run out of money, I can just do this thing again. So, not really that bad. Yep, what is this? Hello? It's trying to gather our money. <laughs> Here we're gonna go insect if it exists. Yep, nice. Give me an ant. Cockroach. Nice, 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 nice. We got a card that's decent. Let's throw something out of the deck. Uh, what's the worst card we have in the deck? I'm not gonna throw the opossum, obviously, because now we will start with one bone, so it's almost a free unit. Uh, I'm not gonna throw the engorging mosquito because it does its job. Lamprey, it's decent. I'm not gonna throw these out. I think the other great white is the thing that has to go. Otherwise, I can just straight up throw the lamprey out. By the way, since when do the cost... Uh, since when is this cost written like that? I think I want to throw the lamprey out. I'm thinking about combining the two whites, so it's an 8-2. Obviously broken. Uh, Lamprey is good and all. I also buffed its flame, but it's it's a 3-2. I don't know. I could throw the opossum out, but when then... Why, why would I throw the opossum out? Like, the, the opossum is almost a free unit that I can play. So, I, I'm thinking about transferring the cockroach onto the fungal ant, by the way. And I definitely don't want to throw a great white out, because if I get the combination thing, I will be forced to combine my fungal ants, which I don't want to do. So, I think the odd man out is actually the lamprey here. Mosquito is buffing the two great whites that we have. Fungal ant is going towards our ant deck that I'm trying to build. And opossum is a free unit, literally. So, I think lamprey is going to go out. Uh, I know I flamed it, but it is what it is. I didn't know at that point what I'm going to do. And I don't like the ability of creating more lampreys on the map because they are underwater units and I just need to hammer slam them to make sure we're not going to lose because I, I'm afraid I'm going to lose from those units at some point. Uh, Bullfrog. I mean, we got the great white here. <laughs> we got the free win here. Uh, I can play the fungal ant here to just buy us some time while I'm trying to build up the triple sacrifice for the great white. Yeah, so let's just do this. And next turn, I can just play the Great White and win. This is literally the same fight we just fought, as far as I know. Yep, so let's do this. Let's do this. We're gonna take two. Uh, these are... Oh, this is gonna go to the tree, I'm sure. Yep. Mm, let's get rid of the Coyote, honestly. So we do four right now. We're winning, obviously. I don't have enough bones to play anything else. Here we go underwater, we take three. Rattler's coming in, but doesn't matter. We can take one damage each turn from the adder. So we're about to take another three after that, which is no problem to us. On the engorging mosquito. Uh, I definitely don't want to make it hit the rattler. Now we pass here. Another adder's coming in, so we're about to take two. We're gonna do four damage here. Opossum is here. Uh, I can play the opossum here. Yeah, let's play the opossum here. Pass. Kills that. Yep, that thing is gonna come in. Kill my opossum. Part of the plan. Part of the plan. Okay. Let's play the mosquito here. Uh, another part of the plan being that the great white just arrived. Obviously, that was random, by the way. Okay, avoids the hit. You know what? I wanna see if it can avoid both hits. I drew an adder from the mosquito. Man, the mosquito was a, a genuinely a good idea. The adder is not gonna do anything. And we're also not winning right away, so we can continue this. I wanna see, is the mosquito gonna dodge the bullfrog and then also dodge the other bullfrog? Or is this only working once? Because if it dodges both, then it's like a, it's like underwater, but sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Let's see, avoids, avoids. Okay, good to know. Good to know, good to know. Uh, now this is a 3 cost, so I can get rid of it. It doesn't serve any purpose anymore. You go here, backline kill the other thing too. This is also dead. Boom, by boom, bum. We take a hit. Okay. We have literally 8 damage on the board. It's as if the game is asking us to do another overkill turn. Should I do it? I don't think I should, honestly. 
But uh, you know what? I'm I, I'm gonna do it again for for one only one reason, one reason and one reason alone, and that reason is that uh, I was at plus at, at minus four. If I was at, uh, at at positive numbers, if I was, for example, where I'm gonna be now here, I'm I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> I don't know why. Why am I explaining myself? This is dead now. The tamed crow has one more health. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Boom, 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 and we get money. And we are at that 99. Which, which, by the way, is not the max you can go to. You can go above 99, but I just somehow rolled 99 on the spot. We got another cockroach. Mm, first of all, I want to transfer one of them to the fungal ant. And then the other one, I guess, to the other fungal ant. And then I will have two fungal ants. Both having cockroach. Not a good idea, by the way. Not a good idea. I could put Kingfisher on... Nah, let's get another cockroach. Or I could go... No, let's go for another uh, money card. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> I guess let's get the poisonous just to have a pocket poisonous. Let's go combine the sharks. Uh, I can also go flame and combine the sharks here. I think that's a better idea. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I think that's true. Let's go flame and then combine because I don't need to go to the right side there. Have I gone to the second boss yet? I haven't gone to the second boss yet. Two life. Two life? You know what? Let's put it on the adder. And when I say put it on the adder, I mean full on everything. Uh, in case you have forgotten, if they eat the adder, the flame guys are toast. You know, this is also good. A 1-9 adder is actually really good. Uh, 1 damage to kill whatever it finds in front of it, and the 9 life to save itself from everything other than the adder. It can only die from an adder, pretty much. Uh, opossum is here. I mean, we can play the opossum. Are you kidding? You know what? Let, let's let's get rid of the bones. Let's play the opossum. Let's also play the fungal ant. Let's also start uh, recouping the money from the fungal ant. I like that in this mod, I can just always draw real cards because I try to make them cost only money. Uh, we pass here. Yeah, we do two damage. Nothing happens. We gain a coin. We take a hit. Mantis is coming in. Draw another real card. I can play the mosquito. I can also play the great, the great white. Uh, let's just play the great white. This is a we do four, we take four situation. At the same time, I'm also gonna play the engorging mosquito. So I'm ready to play the next great white in a moment. Pass. We do four. We take three, if anything. Mosquito is obviously gonna survive the hit. Okay. Let's draw a real card. Fungal. Uh, we can play this to start doing some more damage. We're gonna gain our money back anyway. Boop, boop. Okay, let's continue drawing real cards. Great White is here. Boom. Uh, we're about to win. Okay, so you know what I can do? Although we are about to win, I can just use this to gain two coins. And then another two coins while still maintaining lethal. You know, instead of instead of going with oh I have three damage uh, two damage already done if I do plus five I, I get two coins you know I would have gotten two coins gotten two coins now I got four coins out of this so this is a better approach to this thing like uh, getting exact lethal will always give me more money because I'm just using two coins uh, one damage for two coins instead of one damage for one coin at the end just keeps growing I could combine the engorged mosquitoes approach here uh, honestly. I think I'm gonna just get another mosquito. I'm not gonna combine them, but having mosquitoes in the deck is good for when I draw the great shark. So I will be able to, you know, sacrifice them. Let's go here. And I will definitely, I, I definitely want to give to the one of the two mosquitoes the um, cockroach sigil. So that it grows and grows and grows and then comes back to my hand. I can sacrifice it. And then if I combine them, it's gonna be really good. Because every time, you know, I play that thing, we get a new random card to hand. Then I'm gonna sacrifice for that card. Play the card, get it back to hand. It's gonna be a whole combo. I hope I'm gonna find sacrifice, by the way. As far as I know, last chapter does not have sacrifices. <laughs> I mean, I'm not finding them. There are definitely weights on what you can find. Okay, we got the super shark here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna play the super shark and win right away. Is that a good idea, though? Uh, not really. We're gonna play the Super Shark. Are you kidding me right now? 
I mean, I don't need to play the opossum. I can play the fungal land. It's literally the same thing. Pass. I should have played the bird. No, I, I don't want to play the bird on the right. There is a reason for that. Take one. Yeah, he's faking a hook. But we do three, so it's over. You, The, the hook was a definite fake. Lights out. Yep, goofish. He says... And then we're gonna go with a simple 1-2 tactic of 1-2-3. Oop, oop, we go here. And now instead, as I said, instead of doing 8 damage and getting 3 coins out of this, I'm gonna get 6 coins by sacrificing 3 life. And then I'm gonna get lethal. Obviously I can farm this if I want, but I don't want to. So let's get lethal on the dot. So now we should be doing exactly 8 damage and we got 6 coins out of this instead of getting 3 Efficiency, man. Although I have infinite coins, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Like, I got too much money. <laughs> Perhaps one of these will entice you. Right, can I get the rear from this mod? No, I would have liked to get the rear from this mod. Let's continue, man's god. Let's continue onwards. Are there rares in this mod? As far as I know, there are rares in this mod. I think there are like two or three. Uh... I mean, we're gonna go here. Let's see what we draw. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna reroll here. I still want some coin costs. Where are the coin costs? Where are the coin costs, man? Uh, I could go black goat. Yeah, let's go black goat and sacrifice right away. Over here. I, I, I'm not gonna go this path anyway. And I definitely, I don't care about items either. So I was gonna go to this no matter what. That's why I went with a goat. Could have sent the adder off, but honestly, at this point, it's a 1-9, and it's part of the team. I don't see any sacrifice coming up. We see the super flame coming up as we fed them poison, so they will definitely give us the super flame. What is this? It's the moosebuck mole plus the frozen opossum. Since when, since when are these fights becoming harder and harder? Anyway, uh, we can go with the classic opening that we always go with. The Engorging Mosquito is definitely gonna avoid the hit. Do I want to avoid the hit? Do I want to take the hit? I think I want to play... This Mosquito here to see what I get. Hawk? From where is this drawing? Like, from, from which mod are these cards drawing from? This is... This is a mod I don't have installed. But it's a 3-1 Flyer, which I'm gonna play over here. So, it's a good card that we got. And uh, Mantis God is gonna... This is gonna go off to the... Mantis God is over here. Honestly, I wanna hammer slammer that. Honestly, honestly, I wanna hammer slammer this. So I'm gonna just do that. You know why? Because that's why I have the hammer slammer. I literally have this hammer for this exact reason. Okay, we did 5 damage and we go on with our lives. When I asked for the hammer, my, my reasoning was... I want... I really hate the fearsome stuff that I have in the board sometimes. Literally the reason. Let's... Let's go with insects. And if luck has it, we win. Insect, insect, insect. Easy win. Oh, the black dog. 8 cost, which we have. 3-2. Pushes around, but when it dies, it transfers its stats, which are 3-2, which are onto something else. Really good. Diseased bull. 12. <laughs> Man, I can play this 5 times or something. 12 cost, 4-4, four, four, spikes, and also pushes something back, and when a card on the sigil is sacrificed, it subtracts its stats to the card it was sacrificed. I mean, it doesn't matter for us, I'm not gonna sacrifice a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, it's either when this dies, it transfers the 3-2, or, or it, you cannot sacrifice it. I think I'm gonna go with the you cannot sacrifice it approach, with the pushing back, and also having spikes. This is in general a really decent card in my mind, and we have the money to play them, so why would you not take units? For that specific reason. Inf oh, what? Uh, guys, I think the mods... Oh no, the, the what am I talking about? The adder didn't die. <laughs> the adder didn't die. Before I was about to say something negative here, the adder didn't die. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I can continue trying to burn the adder out of the deck. It's not a smart idea. Uh, I could go with just buff the Mantis God. Although I would like to transfer it. I, I don't see it getting transferred though. It's most likely going to be Cockroach on the Engorging Mosquito. Uh, and then the second transfer would be something like... I could actually transfer the Man's God onto the Opossum. You know, let's start burning the Opossum. 
Let's make it into 1-5. Yeah. Now that it's a 1-5, it can block some hits. And I can transfer the Mantis God Sigil onto it. Let's go this path. We're obviously gonna use Sacrifice there. Uh, on the Mosquito. I mean, I have the money to instantly win. So we're gonna use it. Use it. Dun, 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 dun. How much money do I have? 93. Yeah, that's enough for us winning for the rest of this. Dun, 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 let's go here. Let's also go here for some overkill damage. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Very nice. Easy enough. Uh, let's go. You know what? Let's also pick up some more coins. Because we beat the boss. Plus three coins. I don't think it won't it will matter, but you know, you never know. You know, you never know. We try to go for insects. I guess canines is the second best uh, <laughs> starving dog. Attacks randomly, hoping for food. I mean, fair enough. It's a it's a free one too that attacks randomly. It's literally free for us. Here I'm gonna do the transfer I just mentioned. So you go over here. I would always go for Mantis God, by the way. Oh, I can transfer the adder onto the Mantis God, making it a triple poison. If anything, the opposite, you know. Go with the mosquito. I know, I know, Mosquito isn't something crazy or powerful or carrying our deck or anything, but I'm still having fun here and I'm just deciding on my own what I'm gonna do with my card, so. Let's continue going on. Let's see if you could create a better infinite card. A stupid adder. Let's go with... Mm, yeah, we're just gonna play the cards normally, you know. We're gonna go with a 1. Let, let this actually die. 92. What does it give us? A mole. Insane. Pass. Now this will have two bones. Two blood. Whatever, this will move to the right. Perfect. Perfect. Man, don't you love it when the moving around it works for you? <laughs> Backline damage. Kill that thing. <laughs> love it. An elk's coming in. Doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's go here. I want to try to play the adder. I should have drawn just the real card. Mm, how much life have I taken? I haven't taken any hits. Okay, let's have the to the crow give us money then. Yeah, Belk's coming in. Okay, let's draw. Belk is dead. Love it. Gorging Mosquito, because why not? Boop, boop. Now it's a two cost. Okay, and at this point we have actually won. So let's go for super lethal. Um, is there any point to playing this? This is going to do 4 damage. So therefore it can give us 8 coins. There is no reason to play this. I can play the adder though. So let's play the adder on this. Very nice. And now we have lethal which is 8 damage. So I need to go down to 2. And 1, 2. Okay, that's exactly lethal, and also a bunch of coins. Boom, dead, boom. So we got four coins instead of two at the end. That was the whole idea there. Let's go here. I'm gonna try to win again, and then we're gonna go sacrifice. Um, yeah, this is a win. I don't even need to look at the others. Yep, who would have thought? Modern description, that's always a win. Uh, mantis? Question mark? Mantis? It's a six bones one one that moves around, which is trash, but it attacks sideways and also has something inside of it. It has the, this thing inside of it. Point potential? Point potential. Okay, three cost, one one that does what? Repellent. When a card wearing the sigil perishes, the creature that killed it gets pushed into the back row. Eh. It exists. Albino familiar. Four cost, one one that attacks when an ally unit... You know what? Let's go with the Mantis. Just to see what's inside of it. I obviously hate the fact that it moves around, but uh, honestly speaking, it doesn't even matter. Let's go over here. Okay, let's uh, create an assassination machine. I know this is a 1 cost, but honestly speaking, a 1-9 is obviously better than a 1 cost 1-1. One, 1 one cost 1-1 one, one with triple strike poisonous against 2 cost 1-9. I mean, I would pay one more for plus 8 health. Obviously, right? Let's see what we get. Whoop. Do, do, do. Yar, yar. Do, 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 do. Can I draw my insta adder right away so I start poisoning and killing everything? Yes, I can. Wow. Luck is with us. I can also play the diseased bull to, to get hit with a you're not allowed to damage. 
Bro, greater smoke. I think I play. I, I, okay, so I play the crow, bro, plus the ant, and also the diseased bull. I, I play pretty much everything. Sacrifice the ant so that the bull gets buffed, right? And then play the adder on, on top of that. So I sacrifice one, two for the adder in the middle, and greater smoke goes one, two, and the bull is over here. So we go with one, two, the bull is over here. Okay, now we go with adder. I'm gonna play the adder here. The idea is that it's gonna kill whatever the, is blocking the bull. There we go. It's gonna get blocked. One, two, dead, super dead. Very nice. I'm gonna obviously draw a real card here. And at this point, we're winning right away. Now we just hope that the bombardment is not gonna kill anything. This, as far as I know, this uh, unkillable works in hand, so I won't even lose the card. Let's go. Yep, we do enough damage. Nice. We drew a really good card for this phase, by the way. Okay, bombardment. Let's hope that these two survive. The other side, I really don't care about. Okay, I already saw like enough bombs going to the left that these will survive. Very nice. We lost the worst ones and we kept the best ones. Yep, this got one bomb, but even if it got like a million, it would recreate itself. And we won. This is no longer losable at this point. This even got pushed back. Wow. Better than I thought I would. Better than I thought it would go. Anyway, we play the one mosquito. We play the two mosquito. We play the pass. We win. <laughs> we, even, we even got a stupid bloodhound. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Poison dead. Boop, boop. And we win. Easy enough. Easy enough. That's what happens when you can play everything all the time. Because you have money. Money is power, man. <laughs> in this mod and in general. Let's continue. Whoa, I like the, the coins getting mixed up over there. And he's shuffling them. Can I get... Yes, I got one. You will take a chance and roll this dice. It's a two cost, zero one. I'm going to read what it does. Oh, two out of two. It brings fortune in the way of gold. Four cost, zero one. This thing does tooth puller. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will add one point of damage to the opponent's scale. Love, love, love it. This is... I love it. I love this as an idea. Like, uh, I love it as an idea to just do poison damage to the... I, I guess poison, burn, you could call it whatever. It's just doing straight up damage to Leshy, bypassing everything. I prefer it over... Uh, I prefer it over flying, which does about the same thing, but you can hide this behind some specific things. I like this as an idea. Die roller. Activate, pay 3 life, easy. To gain between 0 and 6, increase in stats. Distributed randomly. Why life? Could have been money, man. Could have been money. And make it a lot more expensive, right? It could have been money, or or at least the same ability, you know, life or money, depending on what you have. And uh, it, make it five, you know? Make it something that forces you to lose your money really quickly or something. I don't know. It could have been so much better than life. Right now, you're forced to use it one or two times. I don't know. I don't know. Distribute randomly. If it gets, for example, if it rolls a three... You lose three life to get plus one plus two. Like it's 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 really bad. I I'm a bit disappointed with this. Could have been so much better. Could have been so much better. Mm, okay, because we know how this is gonna work though, I'm gonna take the dice mouse just for the RNG, you know, just for the RNG. I'm still disappointed with it though. Uh, the right side was just gonna do one damage per turn, so it's not really something exciting to see, you know. Uh I would say. We go sacrifice and transfer the mouse over to the opossum. <laughs> I think that's the play here. I mean, I could go items, but I have the knife and the hook, so I'm really safe on items. Yeah, I think I'm going to transfer the mice on something else. <laughs> Let's transfer the mouse to the opossum. Here you go. Opossum, you were from the get-go with us. Let's hope for the best. You know, it would be nice, uh, because it's a rare, you know. Obviously, it would be broken if you could use just your money to power it up all the time. And if you have, like, 100 coins like I have, you can obviously just spam it. But does it matter? Like, what does it matter? It would be more fun. You can just spam it, spam it, spam it, lose money, lose money, make it like a 20-20, win a round. And then you literally, the next fight, you can't do the same thing. And because it's gambling, it would even more um, play into the gambling idea. Because think about this. You have 50 coins. Right now I have like 60 coins, right? I have a bit too much. Not a rare one. I, I didn't even realize I have things moving around. Okay. Imagine like this. You have 66 coins. And then you're like, okay, I got the mouse. I can easily win. You press the button. Boom, it gets three health. 
Okay, I guess I'm gonna try again. You press the button, it gets one damage and two health. Well, I guess I'm gonna do it again. You press again, it gains five health, one damage. You press again, you lose five coins, it gets plus zero, plus zero. Like, you can easily gamble your money away in a fight that you need to gamble your money away. And then you're gonna be like, whoops, I'm out of money. I guess now I can't play units. Now I can't play this thing. Now I can't do this. I can't do that. So in general, that thing making it lose money. You should think about it. Okay, it might be broken, but it will make people waste their money on this thing. That's the idea there. So definitely, if you want, if somebody like, if the mod creators here, whoever has made that sigil, make it take money away and then life. So it, 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 uh, it eats into your resource without you realizing. You know, I think when they made that, they thought if somebody has 50 coins, then they're gonna break the game. Yes, but only for one fight, right? And then they're gonna be low on money. So I think that would be a lot smarter as an idea. I mean, smarter might be a bad uh, choice of words here because I don't wanna, you know, um, be negative about other people's ideas, but I, I still believe it could be better. Uh, this is gonna do two damage. Um, I'm thinking about playing the adder here. Kills the mole man in one hit and does plus two damage. Reader Smoke's gonna be waiting on the left to get the amalgam hit in. And I just drew real cards. Actually, I, drew, I, I won. This is already a win. Let me calculate the win from this spot already. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell to you, explain to you exactly what's gonna happen. So, turn one. I play Greater Smoke. I play Greater Smoke. I play Tamed Crow. I sacrifice these two for the Poisonous Adder. I play the Poisonous Adder here. Okay, the other one, a greater smoke, is going to be over here, just blocking in the amalgam. No other thing that it's going to do. Turn two. Turn two. I draw from the deck. Uh, oh, and I also play the mosquito over here to start gaining to start gaining uh, blood cost. Turn two. I draw from the deck the white, the shark. I play the shark over here. Get a win, turn one. Get a win, turn two. Get a win, turn three. And we win right away. As simple as that. Let me actually sh show it in practice. So this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. This goes one and a two. It goes here. The mosquito goes over there. Okay, we drew a field mice. That is really random and rare. And then we play the starving dog. Okay, we pass. Boom, 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 two, three. We did four damage. Everything within our parameters. Nothing has changed for the plan. Go here. We draw the super shark. We go one, two. We got the lethal that I just mentioned. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Easy enough. He plays the stumps. Doesn't really matter. As we do have poisonous triple strike anyway. We play the opossum here because why not? Uh, I should have played the opossum on the Actually, it doesn't matter where I play this. We lose three life on purpose because let's use this thing. It lost money. It lost money! I take everything back. Obviously. It is insanely awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now I love it, man. Now I love it. Look at this. Tringy, dringy, dringy. Cling, 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 cling. Let me also make some sounds. Click, click, click. Cling, 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 cling. Cling, cling, cling. Cling, 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 cling. Well, I rolled a zero there. Cling, 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 cling. I have 30 coins. Cling, cling, cling. Cling, 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 cling. By the way, where are the coins gonna come from? Cling, cling, cling. Ling, 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 15 15 let's go oh, by the way uh the great white would do the kill here <laughs> it would go as i said it would uh, so i i i i fell a bit off <laughs> i i missed a bit the mark a bit yeah you photo shoot man you photo shoot i'm gonna photo shoot myself too Oop. what is this uh let's go with the diseased bull i was ah you know what we don't know what is inside of the mantis so let's actually see what's inside of this. Oh. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Uh, can I somehow avoid lethal because I don't want to have a ringworm on my board? I cannot. <laughs> I cannot avoid lethal. Damn it. <laughs> this is very disappointing. Let's create like a 2020. Bling bling. I have two more chances. More chance. Okay, it's a 21 20. I'm really disappointed with that. like what? Why? Like that was it's so so that this card, like the ringworm, is a that mantis was a six cost mantis. Okay, that has inside of it a ringworm. Like, what's the point of that? I guess you give it to the to the to the what are they called? The, the survivors or whatever, but eh. Eh. 
Honestly, no. I I don't know, man. It, it was a bit disappointing. It was a, a bit disappointing. Really disappointing there. Come on, lights out, let's go. And yeah, let's uh, let's not forget the Patreons, which are supporting me. So thanks for the Patreon support, as always. Uh, from here on out, I will point that out, obviously. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Once again, we're going to end this here. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, up the channel, as always. And um, yeah, what's your opinion on this mod? Obviously, I was not able to showcase it completely because, you know, it has like 3D cards and we didn't find all 3D cards. Void Life and Currency is what this is called. So Void Life and core. Ooh, word life and coup. <laughs> um, word life, and we can have an end here. You know, boom, and currency. Current. You know, we can go with money. Although it's currency, so let's let's uh, let's uh, show. This is uh, this is the real name of this. So I'm gonna use the name here. And once again, if the mod creator wants to say anything, just come down below and uh, point out that you're a mod creator. So I'm gonna you know pin the comment. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I definitely enjoyed the mod. Uh, I like the fact that we were lucky enough to break it so that I could, you know, play around with this whole thing. And um, yeah, I think that's it pretty much. I, I really like the mod. That's the one thing I have to say. I also enjoyed the, the rare card that we found at the end that you pay money to actually make it powerful. Uh, you can easily... If I had that earlier, I could have easily tried to get a lethal with it and lose like 20 or 30 coins just rolling the rolls. But uh, still, I mean, I had like 60 coins. Yeah, think about this. I had about 60 coins and it became a 2120. So if I used 20 coins, uh, let's say 60. So if I use 15 coins, which would be one fourth of that, it would be a, about a 5-5. Five five. So 15 coins for a 5-5 five five is not really that good. And it's also gambling. So you might only use three coins to get a 6-1 out of it. But you might also use... I don't know, 50 coins and get a, a 120 out of it or a 1-5 out of it because you might not be lucky enough. So I enjoyed that card specifically. The rest of the cards I liked. I also liked the Mosquito. I liked most of the things I used. I didn't like the one thing I threw away, the, the 7 cost, like it creating underwater. And in general, I don't like underwaters when they have 1 damage. And creating cards that are underwater and have 1 damage is a good sacrifice outlet, but it's definitely not a good card in general. And um, yeah, I think that was it. Uh, the mod, like the idea of using currency, I really, really, really like. The idea of at the end of the fight, you have to calculate how much more damage you can do to get to get money to be powerful in the next fight. Like the, the transference of your mana and the transference of your currency to play units from fight to fight, I really enjoy it. Right? It's it's like your whole deck is not only it's not only your deck that you're playing, it's also the money you're playing with. It's not just Okay, I got a broken deck. Now I just have to play the Mantis God turn one or the one cost five five and win. It's okay, I do have a broken deck, but if I run out of money, I will most likely lose. So I still have to always try to keep my money balance afloat. And I really like this. Obviously, we got like the broken thing over there at the end, which uh, not at the end, at the middle, where we had like the, you know, pay one life to get two coins and then I completely steamrolled over everything. But um, yeah, I mean, that is me. <laughs> I, I still can, though, realize the fun aspect of be of trying to maintain a good balance of money and power at the same time. And uh, yeah, in general, I enjoyed it. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it. I would like to hear some opinions of you guys, too. Obviously, you know, everybody has his own um, things that he likes or not. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys.